just thought of while I was making sure this wheel, the rear wheel was centered, spaced right, with the brake caliper slot to the rotor, and I'm remodifying my rear fender. I don't want shit look crooked after it's assembled. But I look this way. And I'm looking at the transmission sprocket. And I haven't got the rear wheel sprocket on yet. But engine the transmission alignment for the belt to track through. It seems like I uh, never really associated the rear chain alignment with that front belt alignment. I adjust the two different and separately. To line up the transmission be a good idea to be more accurate, I would think to do with the kicker cover off make a tool or something to measure from the center of the cam to the center line of the main shaft on the transmission and the same over here center of the sprocket shaft center of the main shaft Plus I use a glass straight edge to line them up, just to be double good. But once that's lined up, the rear wheel has to have the proper chain tension and at the same time alignment with the transmission. So I can go center line of the ac rear axle to center line of the main shaft on both sides with the kicker cover removed to gain access to the right side or the right end curved side of the main shaft on the transmission. So center line motor center line of tranny main shaft center line of rear axle this would be the same as vehicle alignment on a rubber glide oh shit I guess while I'm at it might as well do an update let's see tank mounting last things I've done let's see 